Hi, welcome to African Giant, where I teach money making online. Our topic for today is KDP Keywords Tips, choosing keywords for KDP. The best KDP keyword strategy is what we will be dealing with today. I am blessing Kolawali, and in this video, I want to show you how you can do KDP keyword research and all the tools that will help you in achieving these. The three strategies that are involved, I will tell you as well. You will get the full details of how you will sell well on Amazon Kindle right here in this video. Now I have a gift for you in this video. I will do a full keyword research for your next book and I mean tags, I mean titles, I mean subtitles. Everything that you will make this your book sell well, I am going to do for you. Because I'm aware a lot of people think until you run ads on your books, that's when you can sell. But ever since I started selling, I have never run any ad before and I sell into thousands of dollars every month using the same thing I'm going to teach you today Keyword research. So this is the full three keyword research strategy that I use and I will tell you But if you have to qualify to get in for me to do this full keyword research analysis for you Then you have to say the exact phrase that I will use in this video as the password You don't want to miss that password and then I will announce somewhere in this video what this password will be just make sure that you watch the entire video so you will not miss the giveaway when I announce. My reason for doing this is I want to add my own quota to your success story. We can make the world a better place to live by sharing and I am sharing my knowledge with you. Now in these videos there are some items that are needed. One, Google Sheets. You need a Google Sheet to be ready, which you are going to tabulate like I'm going to show to you. Number two, you need some tools for Chrome extension. I will tell you what these Chrome extension tools are so you can download as well because it's going to be very vital. And number three, you need the Amazon Sale Calculator, which I will also tell you how to get it and how to use it. This video is loaded, I must tell you, so there is a caution. This is a step-to-step on-screen tutorial that I will give you all you want to start making immediate money on Kindle Publishing. And then you're going to earn thousands of dollars, even more than I do every single month. But you have to focus. This is an on-screen tutorial, focus and take notes so you will not forget. Number two, make sure you watch the entire video, especially the part I'm going to announce the giveaway. If I make your keyword research for you with titles and tags and you pull that up on Amazon Kindle, one day, two days, within seven days, you will be amazed by how much sales you will make. This is going to make you your very first dollar online if you are a beginner and if you are a proven seller before, this is going to take you to the next level. And number three, if you are yet to watch how to open a Kindle publishing account, let's say you are new here, then you need to see what I have in my description. Also, if you need to see the step-to-step -step full tutorial on how to start from scratch, how to write these books, and so many things, I itemized 10 things you need to know before you start your journey, and also the type of niches you can go through, then you have to see these. I have a whole tutorial, create account on Kindle Publishing, which you can look through in my description, this is the full cover for the Kindle publishing. Also, these I will leave in the description. Okay. Just go to the description after you might have seen this video, and then you see the links to these two and many more videos about Kindle publishing. As a matter of fact, I have a whole playlist that I've dedicated on this channel to the Kindle publishing. Now, let's go. This is now the introduction. And by the way, I am going to leave the timestamp of each of the chapters in my description. So if you already know about Kindle, maybe the introduction is nothing to you and all of that, just go to the description, you will see the time tab. I have this timestamp of each of the chapters of this particular video because it's a tutorial. I'm sure you may have the specific that you need. Just go there and you'll see. Now, whether you're a famous author or this is your first book, 
Kindle keywords are the most important part of any book marketing strategy. Kindle keywords allow your book to be discovered by hungry shoppers on the world's largest book market, Amazon, even while you sleep. This makes passive income. There are books I've written two, three, four years ago that is still selling up to $100, $200 every single month, multiplied by the volume of books that I have. Incredible. This you don't have to work every day. Now, these keywords help you make sure that your books are discovered. That is the whole essence of this keyword. Now, if you don't know how to do keywords, that means your books will not be discovered. Now, if you do it wrongly, that means your book will not still be discovered and then you will not sell. That's why a lot of authors are frustrated. But if you know how to do this, which I'm going to show to you extensively, then it is plain and simple. You will make a lot of money just by this single strategy. So, if you have an incredible book already or you're about to write your own and then you don't know how this book is going to show up on Amazon book for the right readers so you, they can buy and you make money, then this is for you. This video is for you. Now let's learn. In this video, you're going to learn how to find profitable Kindle keywords. Kindle keywords tools that are going to help you I will show them to you and how to use them and how to increase your book rankings and increase your sales by a lot on Kindle. Those are things you will learn. Now, just one last thing. I wish you to make tons of money this year and I know you will. Whatever stop people to make money will not stop you. I want you to keep grinding. Now subscribe to my channel. This is African Giant Channel, Make Money Online, where I teach everything that has to do with money making online. And I'll get here, what do you have to do? Hit on the like button on this video and also subscribe and turn on your bell notification. And from that point on forward, off we go. Now let us start. The very first thing I want you to see is what is called the Amazon Kindle publishing now this is what it looks like if you are registered and you are signed up this is what you will see you can see you have books 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 tons of books that i have written and all of them come in this form where you have your uh book cover which is the first thing that is going to attract your buyers then you have the titles you have your name or pen name whichever you use and then you have your pricing and all marketplaces that you can sell these books and um, also you have the paperback the one that has the hardcover, you have all of that. So that's the first thing I want you to see. Now, to start our journey for keyword research, what do you do? Go to Amazon.com, Amazon.com, Amazon.com. Now, on getting to Amazon.com, please indicate that this is on all. You are searching the all of Amazon of the assumed title that you think your book should have. Number one, you need to be able to figure out what niche you are going into. If it is fiction, if it is non-fiction, if it is no content, if it is low content. All of these you need to figure out because you need to be able to generate the niche idea and also the title idea which you may not use, but at least you need to know what you are looking for. Remember, keyword is what people, shoppers, are looking for to buy. So you really need to know what and what is it that you are trying to sell in the first place. It may not be the original. Okay, now let me think and do something like um, how to get pregnant fast. Okay, you see, I'm looking for how to get pregnant. As soon as I pop that in, I want to write a book about how to get pregnant. As soon as I pop that in, look at what just happened. Amazon will give me a list from here. This is Amazon. It gives me a list of keywords that people are searching for on Amazon that I can use and check if it's profitable. That's number one. Look at this. This particular one is what we call the Amazon Kindle Expander, which gives me extra keywords that people are still looking for. And if you see this, you see all of these are keywords ideas that you can search to see any profitable keywords. Now, how do you get your own search? If you search on your own, you may not see all of these because this is my own Amazon uh, Kindle Expander. Now let's go to Google and type that. Type Amazon Suggestion Expander 
in your Google and it will open up this for you. Now, this particular one, if you hit on it, it's a Chrome extension that you can download on your Chrome browser. So, so you can see these like this that I showed you for more keyword research. So from you, the second tool that you is also very important for this case is what we call keyword everywhere. Keyword everywhere. If you also hit that and click on it, it's also a Chrome browser extension, which can let you also put it on your Chrome extension. It will give you varieties of keywords that people are looking for so from here now when you pop it in don't worry about the ones that are showing just hit on search you want to know how each words are uh, profitable that's what you want to know now on hitting that take a look at this here on the top left hand i highlighted it you see this is showing me 1 to 48 of 785 results for how to get pregnant this simply means there are 785 results here. Now, the lower this search here, the better. Identify that. The lower the search, the better. That means the, prof uh, the, the competition there is low. But don't forget we are searching all. So there are going to be a lot of uh, results that are not books. Okay, but this is now the strategy. Number one strategy. I promise I was going to show you three good strategies. But here we go with the number one strategy. First, when you see something like this, start scrolling on the front page. See if there are books that looks like the one you want to write on this front page. For example, this is a book here. You see that? I'm going to open that, right click and open. Here's another one, I right click and open. This simply means this book is very good, like this keyword is good. Because I always gone for keywords that are lower than 1,000 in the search result. Any keyword that is lower than 1,000 is a good keyword. And that's the first thing you will note. Please note these things. I told you you should take a note. Keywords that are less in search result of all, not even on books, on all for 1,000 is good. And they must have minimum of three books or three items like you want to produce on your front page. Remember, these people here are on the front page. So what do you do? Just take three best random, which are on this front page, and you are going to look for what we call the best sellers rank. The best sellers rank. Now, um, open again, and let's go to Google Sheets. Google Sheets. You can type that on your Google. It will open for you. I already have that here. So just go to Google and type Google Sheets. Google Sheets. And then you click on it, it will bring you here. Now, you are going to itemize it like I did headlines. I put this one as keywords. The second one as search results. The third one as volume. The other one as best sellers rank. Please stay with me while we go through this. I'm not in a hurry because this is the whole essence. If you write a good book and nobody is going to see it, let alone buy it, then you will not sell. But then, if you have a good keyword, even if you have a bad book, you will still sell. I hope you understand, but I'm not saying you should have a bad book. I'm just saying keyword is really, really, really important. Now, keywords on your Google Sheet, you are going to take a lot of notes. This is not just something you do in 10 minutes or 5 minutes. You have to spend a lot of time to get the most profitable keywords. Because the most profitable keywords is the one you are going to use in your title, is the one you are going to use in your subtitle, is the one you are going to use in your tags remember i have a gift for you in this video i'm going to do at least a book for you if you get the phrase when i say it in this video so you have to stick with me and let's learn this once and for all okay now let's let's start checking now the first thing here is my search result is 785 now my keyword is how to get pregnant so i copy that in my Google Sheets, this is my keyword, how to get pregnant. My search result is 785. I indicate that here. Now, let's get the best seller rank before we continue to confirm if this is going to be profitable for us or not. Now, remember, the three I said, at least minimum, if you have a keyword that does not have three types of the books that you want to write, that's not a profitable keyword from that beginning. Just forget about it. And if you search and it is more than a thousand, 
forget about keyword that particular keyword you have to look for another one but now I have opened these ones on the side now how do you get your bestseller rank scroll down you see the bestseller rank of each book okay the bestseller rank of this book is 63,399 now I open on a sheet notepad and I type 63,399 that's the bestseller for the first one okay now the second I check that same thing you're going to check the bestseller rank of the all three of them okay here is the second book it has a bestseller rank of 17941 I'll go there and type that again 17941 and I check for the third book on the front page third book on the front page I scroll down again that's how you're going to do it one after the other there is no running away from these you have to confirm this is 2285 then you go through this again and do 2285 now these three you are going to add together and find the average that's how to get your bestseller rank I pop up my calculator let me minimize that a bit so I can get it once and for all okay and I punch 63 399 additional I had it to 17941 <clears throat> add to 2285 which is equals to these and I divide by 3 that's how to find my average now that's 27 27875 now my own uh, principle of these is simple this is quite very low which is good if you are on uh, a niche like this niche I'm in you need to get a bestseller rank that is less than basically 50,000 that's that's it this is less than 50,000 so it's a very good keyword you need to get a bestseller rank that is less than 50,000 if you are in a low content low content you can get bestseller rank around um, 300,000 so as you can see this particular keyword is good but then you can conclude there might be a better keyword so how do we do now if you have your uh, Amazon suggestion expander or uh, installed then that means you can see and have access to more now look at this this says how to get pregnant quickly and naturally let's click on that and see what that brings up okay that has opened up and just like I said look at these this is just 79 results just 79 results but then if you look through you see books one two three four okay there are books so let's go again the top three just like I did the odd time let's check them out now you see if you check this one out calculate the BSR then you will know but there is a tangible thing you have to note here before I go to the second strategy and the third a very tangible thing you have to know the volume of search the volume of search you need to know if this is actually having a good volume because you might have a book that is only 30 people that's looking for it in a month then in that what was the probability that you're going to sell it doesn't add up okay how do you get the volume you go to Amazon sales calculator and by the way you see it here tckpublishing.com is the one with this because I know there are lots of uh, Amazon book calculator so you come to it here this is the B to sales calculator the average BSR rank that you've gotten you place it here and then you change this to book now you need to get the sales per month to know if that particular keyword is profitable for example if there are no sales per month on the particular book what will you be doing there so you need to do what do you do hit on calculate sales and this tells you how many books have been sold across this particular keyword in a single month and also per day and from my own estimation this is quite close it's very accurate it's very accurate I must tell so this particular keyword has a sales of 155 per month 
and the sales on this book is 10 per day so if this book sells 10 per day you can now imagine oh that's a good sale because the probability that you're going to sell part of this book in a month is very heavy so that's how you go about it and get your a lot of keywords this one has 19 views if i'm correct 19 search and um if you calculate the bestseller rank you see it's going to also maybe be lesser than fifty thousand, which makes it a very good one okay that's how you go about it and then you go and search for as many keywords as possible minimally you need to do like 10 or 15 because the second strategy now is what i will show to you on amazon there is what we call the tags tags let me open it assuming i want to upload i click on kindle ebook i want to show you amazon allows you to add seven tags seven tags let me just show you that so you will know now there is in every other ways of adding keywords you had your key for example on youtube this youtube you are watching i have the keywords for the youtube and it's always very long it's always long tail and that's what most people use for example now just on the google sheet that i just opened i think my internet is very slow i don't know what what's wrong with it it's usually not this slow but i'm, I'm going to pull through <laughs> i'm going to pull through now you see the first one is the first keyword is how to get pregnant the next one is how to get pregnant quickly and naturally now this particular tool if you use one as your title and maybe you want to use as your subtitle you see it doesn't make up because on amazon amazon said you should not repeat words that are already existing in your keyword so for example now let me open this note i'm trying to explain something to us this is very very important remember this is the first one we want to use i will just form the keywords and assume that's it so that this video will not be extremely too long so maybe now in between i now got another keyword that says food to make a woman pregnant okay now i'm just going to use this as uh, the full example of uh, or get pregnant immediately you know these are like likely keywords now from all of these keywords if you use how to get pregnant as your title you cannot use how to get pregnant quickly and naturally as your subtitle that will be wrong that's what I wanted to show you uh, also on the tags now if I have these kind of keywords for example if I use how to get pregnant as my title, then I'm going to put food to make a woman pregnant immediately. You see that? I will cut out this one and add this immediately to this one to make the subtitle a bit stronger. That is how it works on Amazon. A lot of people don't know. People will put how to get pregnant here as title, then put how to get pregnant quickly because it's the next ranking keyword, and then they put that as their subtitle. No. You already ranked for how to get pregnant which is the first one you don't need to cover space again use some of the words that does not exist before always use different words that rank that's why i told you search for like 15 profitable keywords so that when you get to your tags let me open that up now these are tags just go down you see keywords enter up to seven search keywords to describe your book here now a lot of people will just come here and put each of these like how to get pregnant they put it here how to get pregnant again quickly and it's already in their title and subtitle don't put it again put the ones that does not exist at all in this subtitle and now there is a little trick to it now you see if you put food to make a woman pregnant this is a old search term again use for search term for that is the old one like this like you put this food to make a, uh, a, a woman pregnant get pregnant immediately you put it but after you finish this first four the remaining three that is here do not put full search term like this what do you do other 15 keywords that you have searched remember there will now be variations that has not existed in all of these four keywords and the subtitle and title that you have written those are the ones you now link together 
to form the extra three that are here. For example, assuming these other four are the extra ones, I don't want, if I have to go through 15 keywords, the video will be too long. So here now, what do I write? I write something like, since how to get pregnant is in all, I just write food, maybe food has not existed, then naturally has not existed, I put natural food, I hope you're getting it, you make it look natural, like natural food, um, immediately for a uh haul. -huh. I remember that. Natural food for immediate immediate um, pregnancy. You can put that. Pregnancy. You, you, you get the feel of that. Something like that. You just make sure that all of that keyword, that are in your natural keywords, but you, you, you need to go through like, maybe you're merging like five or six of those keywords together as one. That's exactly, oh, my battery is low. That's exactly the way you go through it. I promised you I was going to do a keyword research analysis on one of your books by telling me a particular phrase. Now the particular phrase is this, African giant, twice. African giant, African giant, I am a subscriber and I just shared this video. I am just trying to use it to screen away people who would come to the comment section and spy on things or people who naturally assume this is what he says in the videos. That's why I left it to this end. Okay, I would recommend these two videos to you about Kindle publishing that you must watch to know how you grow your sales and make tons of sales the more. This is African Giant. My name is Blessing Kolawali.